Welcome back. Fair warning, this might be a long video. I am going to try Puzzle Rush Survival. As you can see right up above, directly above my head, my high score previously was 33. It's been a couple of months. Maybe I've gotten better. Let's see if we can beat it. And, uh, oh. Almost forgot about the splash screen. Also, fair warning, we're getting our first thunderstorm of the year, I think. So if the power goes out, there might be an interruption in this video. We're about to find out. White to move. Uh, it looks like I have checkmate on the back rank. Okay. That puzzle was rated very low, 195. I am in check here. Um, okay, I can't move out of check there because of their rook. I can't move out of check this way. I can block the check. But then they would just take my queen. I can block the check, but they would just take the bishop. It seems like it makes sense just to move out of check this way. Um, oh, that was the answer to the puzzle. Okay. I wasn't my only legal move, but it was pretty... Uh, let's see. I'm not in check here. I can just take that rook. Is that the answer to this puzzle? It seems like that should be the answer to this puzzle is just just capturing the rook that has come down to a bad position for no reason. Um, but I'm just looking around just in case because uh, my pawn is in the way so I can't check down there, uh, which would be mate if I could, if this pawn wasn't in my way, but it is. Um, I can't check any, I mean I could check there but that doesn't get me anything. Uh, so I, th I think uh, just take the rook. And I can't take it with my king because it's protected by the bishop, so I'll take it with the bishop. Okay, that was the answer to that puzzle. All right. I am in check this way. I'm not in check, I mean. My queen is pinned to my king. That's what I meant. Um, well, that looks bad. That looks like I will lose my queen. This seems like a surprisingly hard puzzle for this uh, this low of a rating. But I'm not in check. Wait, maybe that's the answer. I'm not in check. I can check their king here and then win their rook. For a second I was thinking I would have to take, then they would take back, and then I would check. But no, I can just check now because I'm not currently in check. I think that's it. Danger levels. And then win their rook. And they're queen for a queen. That, okay. Wow, I, uh, that actually required some calculation. I, I'm surprised it was that difficult. Okay, so, so for some reason the queen moving over here is a blunder. Why is that a blunder? Or a mistake, because we know puzzles start on a mistake. It looks like they're aiming at my undefended pawn. I can defend that pawn by castling. But then won't their knight come here and threaten mate? Mm, but if their knight goes there, I can bring my queen over to defend or my thing. So maybe castling is the answer here. Um, or just, or is it pushing the pawn? Because, oh, I have checkmate on the other side. Wow, mate in one. Okay. Almost missed, almost lost that puzzle. Okay. Something has just been captured here. I think I have a mate in two here. I have a check here that they cannot block. Uh, the king has to, uh, sorry, king has to move over here and then I have mate in the corner. Uh, well, there's that. Okay. <laughs> I am out of practice. I did need to do this. Let's see, I have a battery lined up here and that's checkmate, so. Um, one thing with the lower level puzzles, if you do have a lower puzzle rating or if you intentionally select a lower rating range of puzzles, very often you can look for a mate in one or a mate in two. A couple of those threw me off because I was under attack, but 
Here, this is a problem because, again, this is a made in one. My pawn protects that square, and so I can just go there and nothing else defends the king or that square. Okay. Here, my rook is under attack by this knight, and I cannot directly attack the knight. However, I think I can win the knight by checking here. Uh, not necessarily. If I check there and they moved out of check, I would win the knight. But they could block my check with their protected queen. Oh, but then I would take their queen with my knight. So that's got to be it. They blocked the check over there with their queen, and then I win the knight. Okay. So it was winning material with the threat of check. Here, my opponent has blundered checkmate in one. This is almost like the scholar's mate, where the bishop was over here uh, pointing at that square, but instead we have a pawn pointing at that square. And once my queen arrives there, my queen will cut off these squares from the king. None of the opponent's pieces guard that square. So that's mate. And, okay. King moving out of check this way was the mistake. Should it have moved out of check to the back rank, apparently? Why was that so bad? Because my opponent is definitely up on material here. My knight is hanging. I think I see it. I almost thought of this knight check here... Um, but the king just moves out of it, and then my rook is under threat. However, my knight is currently guarded by this, so the pawn can take it, but the king cannot. My pawn cuts off these two squares. My knight cuts off these two squares. And if I put the rook right here protected by the knight, that will be checkmate. Okay. Pattern recognition is a lot of these. Here also I think I have a mate in one. Because right now my rook is under threat because the knight is in the way. That's I think why this was a blunder. Um, because I think the king should have taken my rook and then even if I took theirs and put them in discover check they could have got out. But instead they went here so now this is mate. Because the rook is guarded by the other rook and cuts off these squares and my knight will hit that one. Okay. Here I also have a mate in two because nothing of the opponent's side guards this square, but my rook does. That will force the king back. Then I will go here, the rook will be forced to capture, and then I will recapture with my rook, and that will be mate. This is one of the mating patterns from the Bobby Fisher Teaches Chess book that I had and studied for a little while and came in very handy. Oh, lucky 13. All right. Okay, this was a mistake or a blunder on the opponent's part. And the question is why? Okay, I think it's because I can go here. Right now, my pawn cuts off that square. So if I go there and check, my rook will cut off this square and these two and my bishop cuts off those two. That will force the king back here, and then that will be mate. Uh, in a game, I might be tempted to just take this bishop, but uh, that's checkmate because of my bishop. All right. I notice my bishop is pointing at that square, as is my queen, so I think moving my queen there is checkmate. None of my opponent's pieces can get there, and I am not currently in check. This bishop is close, so you definitely don't want to check in the corner. But right there's mate. All right, 15. So he's, we have seen almost all of these have been a mate in one, mate in two, or winning of material. And now, even though you can't see it behind my camera view right, right along here, my current... Rate, uh, puzzle rating that I've worked my way up to is 864. Okay, this threatens my queen. But I'm threatening their queen.
I, I have a check here, but that just loses my queen and then their queen gets away. But one way here, one thing here I've uh, figured out, I think this one is not a mate, but a, a material advantage gain. Because if I take this rook, that comes with check, so they can't get their queen out of danger at that point. So this, I get a rook with check, they take my queen back, and they're up net four, but then I win their queen for free, and then I'm up five. I think that's what this one is, because there's not, I'm pretty sure there's not a mating sequence here. And if I go out in the other order, then we just we'll each lose a queen, and we're still even on material. So I think it's this, and then this. Okay. Now we're in the 900s, by the way, even though you can't see it behind my camera. Okay, they have come here to threaten my queen. However, my rook cuts off these three squares from their king right now. And my pawn, this pawn, is guarding this square. So if I were able to move my queen here, which I am, uh, that would cut off all these squares. And I think that would be checkmate. Because I'm not currently in check, and they don't have any pieces guarding this square. Okay, so that was made in one, rated 972. If I move my queen, they're threatening made in one. So I have to be alert for that. I do have a couple of checks in this situation, and I like this check. I don't know if that's the answer, but I'm, I'm liking that check right now uh, because that's not that square is not protected by me. But if the king captures back, which I assume it would, it wouldn't have to. They could just move out of the way and they would have lost a knight. Um, but if they capture back, then I have this check, which uh, forks the king, rook, and queen, and I would win the queen... Uh, despite going down this exchange which is just a two point loss I would then win the queen which is a nine point gain I think that's the answer and even if they didn't take and they went in the corner uh, if well if they went in the corner I could just go ahead and take the pawn with check and then they would have to come back and then we could repeat that I guess um, so I'm going to take the knight I don't see anything better I don't have a check here uh, this seems really silly. Um, I'm not sure. I, there's nothing else, I don't think. If I try to fork now, their knight uh, takes back. So check, check, and win the queen. All right. That was rated 1,000. Well, the thunder stopped for a few minutes. I don't know if you heard any of that over the microphone. My microphone is right here. It's got a flashing blue light on it. It's pretty cool. But uh, so maybe we're out of danger with the thunderstorm. Hopefully we will get some rain. We haven't had any rain in, well, any, no, we had no rain at all since through July and only just a few drops in June. So we're in extreme drought here in Texas right now. And we've just had three in a row warmest months ever, warmest May ever, warmest June ever, warmest July ever in history, recorded history. So definitely fingers crossed for some rain. Um, well, it's not currently raining. Okay. Back to the puzzle solving. They are attacking my queen. Well, that seems rude. What can we do to get out of that? Ah, uh, this, I don't think this is a case where we queen sacrifice because they sacrifice back. I mean, they take back and, uh, and then I'm in danger of being mated here because the rook can hit me on the back rank as well as the queen could. And the queen can always come back here and cut off this escape square. So what do we have? One thing I do have is I can check over here, which they could block with the pawn, but then I would take this pawn and that would be check. And that would be mate. I think that's it. Is there any other way? They can't block that any other way, can they? And they can't get out because my rook uh, cuts off the back rank. My queen is hitting these squares, and none of their other pieces have the ability to, to go that direction. They, they have to block with the pawn, and then that's made. All right. 
2091. Oh, I just heard a thunder again. I spoke too soon. Okay. Well, we're at 19, so we're halfway to the to my record. The queen moving back. Okay. What's going on here? I mean, I could take the bishop, but they would just take back, right? So I don't think that's it. Right now, I don't really have an attack on on their king, I don't think. I don't think it's right time for a knight sacrifice. I can't check over here because of where all those pawns are. That rook is protected by this bishop. And if I move my bishop, they'll take my rook. So this one seems a little more complicated than the last few. And my king is kind of kind of trapped over here. That's unfortunate. Is there something I can do with this bishop that would give me time? No. Because like if there was a way to sacrifice this bishop for a check somehow, then then I could win their rook maybe, but I really can't because it's their rook's protected and my and my bishop can't really go anywhere. And I can't approach their rook easily with my pieces. What do I have? There's not a discovered attack on the knight because the, the knight is guarded by this pawn. So I it's not like I could do this and then win the knight or something. If I do this, they take. Then I could attack their queen with the bishop and win the rook because the queen would move out of that attack, I think. I think that's it, because there's no checks. This is the only good capture that I see right now. Well, the only actual capture that I see right now other than this futile pawn capture. And that doesn't force the recapture by the queen, but I, I think any reasonable person would recapture because they wouldn't see this. This is a protected bishop fork of these two pieces. My queen would be protecting that square, and so when the queen moved out of danger, wherever it went, then I would win the rook. I'm going to try that. Okay, that was it, and they did take, so it has to be this. Oh, they took the bishop. Well, if I take the queen, they take my rook, right? And if, I t and if I take their rook, then they take my rook. Oh, so either way, they get my rook. Okay. All right. Well, that was rated 1128. This is attacking my queen. I do not have a checkmate here because my bishop's in the wrong place. I can't win this bishop because, because it's protected by both knights. However, I can win this knight because it's only protected by the queen and then I would get that. I I think that's it. I don't have anything else, do I? If I if I capture here wouldn't they take they would take back, wouldn't they? I don't think they would try something like this because even if they did that, I would then take their queen and when they took back, I would take their bishop. So I think it's taking the knight. Because I don't have it again, I don't have any attacks on their on their king. And all all these other pieces are protected. Even that one, but that one I I would win a knight out of this exchange. I think I think that's it. Okay. Oh it's, it keeps going. Well um pretty much have to take that back, don't I? And then they're going to go here. And then I would have to defend it with the pawn, I guess. Or the other knight, maybe. I guess I just take it, because if I don't, I have to move here. And then I didn't, I didn't come out ahead. Oh, OK, that was it. All right. Whew. Oh, that looks spicy.
my rook is undefended, my knight is undefended, my queen's out of place. Sure, this is a, in the 1200 range? That's, I should have built up to about the 1200 range right now. What in the world? This, this looks devastating to me. Um, okay, I think the only thing I see here is, is that my bishop is pointed at that pawn. That looks like the only the only thing that I see here that's uh, helping. So I'm wondering if it's not to move my rook over, if the answer isn't to move my rook to g8, where it would be protected by the knight and attacking the queen. And the queen would have the choice of taking the knight or escaping this way. Um the knight's also protecting the pawn, so it wouldn't do that. So if I play rook to g8, I assume the queen would take my knight. And if so, then I would have my bishop and my rook uh, pointed at g2. So once the queen takes the knight, then I would capture here with check, which would force the king to h1 because it's protected by my bishop. Then I would pull back the rook which would be a discovered check from my bishop, and I could win the queen. That's my plan. I did not see that coming. I guess they saw my plan too, and just took the rook. So now I just take the queen, right? Okay, wow. That one seemed a little harder than it should have been for 1235. Okay, well I'm 22 minutes in and I'm two-thirds of the way to my record. I know that they take a little longer from here on out. What do I have? What do I have? I have two rooks pointed at this at this king, which is kind of weak right now, but I, I there's not much I can do about it. Yeah, there is something I can do about it because of this bishop. So whatever this rook should have done, it didn't do it. I don't know what it should have done when it was back there, but instead it came down here trying to attack my king or hoping to pick off these pawns maybe, but that wasn't the answer. I think the answer has something to do with this bishop pinning that pawn and this pawn and these two rooks, pointed all pointed at this king. Now I don't think it is to push this pawn because even though that guards this square, I don't have any pieces that can get to that square. I think the answer is to capture this g3, h captures g3. And they don't have to respond immediately to that because it's not check. But at that point, they can't take back with their f pawn because it's pinned by my bishop. They could take back with their h pawn. But then I would have this. So if I capture here, they don't have to, again, they don't have to capture back. But if they, I don't know, come forward with their king or something, I mean, then I just I just take here with check, and it's very close to mate, and that would be protected by the pawn here. Um, if they try to push forward, then I can just take that pawn. Or for that matter, since my pawn would be here, I could capture here. I, yeah, it's got to it's got to be h captures g3, right, to break open that, break that open. Okay. Well, once again, I, something happened that I didn't expect. Okay, I can win both of these rooks because if they capture back, then I capture back. Um, now, if I stopped and checked for a second, that would be a double check. Let me think about this for a second. Wait, that would also be a double check. If I capture on h2, it'll be protected by my h rook checking with the pawn and this rook sorry the uh, that pawn there would be checking the king and this rook would be checking the king so they could not capture here they would have to move out of check one way or the other and then that square would be guarded 
by that pawn and I can move this rook down there. Oh, but I'm in check right now, so I can't do that. Wow, I thought all of that for nothing. I have to take this rook. Okay, well, I got two rooks for a rook and a pawn. That was the answer. Okay, I thought too hard on that. This is complicated. If that knight wasn't there, I would have checkmate because my knight guards h2. But that knight is there, and I don't think there's a way to get rid of it. Is there? I hear rain. Oh, that's nice. Oh, we got our first rain in many weeks. Save our trees and our what little grass is left. Okay, back to the puzzle. There's I don't have any piece that can get rid of that knight. So maybe so maybe it doesn't have to do with me checkmating down there. But my knight is under attack. Where can it go right now? Maybe nowhere. I don't know. I have a check here. But, I mean, they, they just take back. And if I capture back, they, they take back. And I lose two pieces for a rook and a pawn. Um, not to mention that, I mean, they could just move out of the way. I mean, they probably wouldn't, but they could. Um, this might be the first puzzle that I fail. I, I'm not seeing any. Oh, wait, there, maybe there is a way to remove the knight. What about that? Threatening their queen. Knight to d4 threatens their queen. And the only way they can get out of that is by capturing with their knight, which hangs checkmate, or moving their queen, in which case I capture this knight and I'm threatening checkmate. Because I'll capture that knight with checkmate. That looks cool. I, I think I'm going to do that because I need to remove the defender of the h2 square. I don't know. There might be something better, but I, I'm going to try it. They took my knight, so I get their queen. That has to be it, right? Okay, wow, 1303. And I've got 24 puzzles. I'm nine away from my record. Wait, I'm playing with the black pieces? That's all I have? What? Well, that I, I'm lost, right? No, am I not lost? Their king is trapped because my king and pawn cut off these squares. So if I could magically get a rook to d1, that would be main. It's going to take at least two moves to get there. So rook to d7 threatens mate. Do they have it? What's their defense against that? Do they have a defense against that? Rook to d7 threatening mate. I mean, if their king came here, it doesn't help because my pawn is, is guarding both of those squares. And then rook to d1 would still be mate. So rook to d7, they can't get in the way. I'll just take it. They get in the way here, I just take it. Is that it? I'm threat threatening checkmate and then they can't stop it? Wow, okay, they threw all their pieces that they could in front of it and I took them all. The good part of this puzzle is that I only have two things that can move. My other three pawns are completely locked. Locked and blocked. Those three pawns cannot move. Just neither can their counterparts. Okay. So this would be bad. I'm 100% convinced of that. Because that's the only move that this pawn can make. I am pretty sure their B pawn would capture on A5. 
and then they would have a passed pawn. So if I went there, they would capture. I would be forced to come toward it if if they moved forward, and I I couldn't go there uh, or there. I'd have to go here, and then they'd move forward, and I would take their pawn. But I mean, it's, I think as soon if I did that and they captured, as soon as I moved here, they're going to bring their king in. And then if I go any closer trying to get to that pawn, they're going to bring their king here. And then if I try to capture that pawn, they're going to get mine. So that seems really bad. This king has six possible moves. I obviously cannot go where my own pawn is or there because of that pawn. But I have six possible moves. In most end games, it's good to go this way. Toward, toward the enemy king because once my king is there I will have what's called the opposition my king will control all of those squares forcing their king to move sideways or back because again just like my pawn over here they don't want to move that one if they move that one I have a past protected past pawn so it's I think it has to be <clears throat> king to e6 and then they have to make a king move and if they go that way I think I go this way because I would be trying to, to take out that pawn to get a passed pawn. If I go here and they go there and I come here. They can't come down because my pawn is guarding that square. <clears throat> so maybe they would go back. Maybe if I go here they would go there to protect that pawn. But in that case I go this way, right? And they can't come forward because my pawn guards that square. Okay, well, we know if I go back, they're going to come forward with their king to here. <clears throat> and I can't go sideways because their pawns guard those squares. And I can't go here or here because their king guards those squares. So here, it only this is the only move that makes sense. And I'm aiming for that pawn, so I will have a passer. They can't come in here because my pawns both guard that square. And if they later try to move this pawn, I will take it with check and be protected by the one from behind. So I think I go ahead and, and go for that pawn, right? If I move here, what do they do? They probably will move that forward in desperation and I'll take it. But if they don't do that, what are they going to do? Try to come toward me? That doesn't help either. I'm still going to take this pawn, right? And even if they came toward me again, I can, uh, I, I then will take this pawn and advance. Oh, they're trying to go around this way? I don't think they have time. It has to be that. Again, three of my pawns can't move, and this just creates a passed pawn for them. So it has to be taking this pawn. Okay. <clears throat> well now if I take this one they take one of mine and they have a passed pawn two squares from promotion so all right that took a little while but uh, it wasn't that difficult you just have to eliminate the moves that don't make any sense and this is another in-game puzzle and again we have some moves that are impossible and some moves that don't make sense this moves impossible because that pawn is blocked this move doesn't make any sense because either one of those pawns could take it. Uh, I assume they would take with their F pawn, because then the one behind would be protecting it, and then they would have a protected passed pawn, and even if I tried to get close to it, um, I think they could make a waiting move with their king and, and eventually force me away and they could advance. Or we might end up in a draw, maybe. So I don't think that doesn't make sense to me, to give them a passed pawn. But just in case, if they, they would take, 100% they would take, I would come here, so they wouldn't advance it because then I would capture. They would, and they couldn't bring their king to protect it because my king would be cutting off that square, as does my pawn. My king would also be protecting these squares. So I think they would move here to protect their rear pawn and to keep my king from advancing around. Um... And then I guess if I tried to get in front of their pawn, then then they come this way with their king. So that doesn't make sense. I think this makes sense. Moving my king here. Because then I get, again, what's called the opposition. My king controls all of those squares. 
and their king would their king's only option would be to move to one side or the other and whichever way their king moved I would go around the other way I think I think it only makes sense to go around well I can't go this way to maintain the opposition because they're pawn if I drop back here and they do that well then we have a draw repeating moves if I go here they won't advance because then I will have a passed pawn and both of those pawns will be under the protection of my king um, if they try to bring their king around then I can take that one and have my own passed pawn so even if they pull something like this and uh, and win that pawn for that one that's their last pawn and I'll have a pawn that can advance so I, th I think I have to go there Okay, they did advance. And again, I only have two things that can move. And again, this doesn't make sense because then they get a protected past pawn and their king is coming around here to protect it. I can't ta capture that or go here or here because of their king. It doesn't make any sense to go way up there because then, then they'll have uh, uh, this whole thing and be able to come around behind my pawn doesn't make sense to go over there for the same reason so it only makes sense to capture this pawn okay well well I still can't move that pawn moving this one they don't have to take which I would take back they would advance and I can't get to it so it doesn't make sense to move the pawn Makes sense to move the king to get the opposition and allow me to move this pawn. And I can't move my king this way because of their king and their pawn cutting off those squares. Okay, we're at 27, uh, making our way. Okay, well, the rain didn't last long, but it did get things wet. So maybe that'll help. Um, but again sorry you didn't need a weather report from texas probably you might be in uh, who knows where you guys are australia dubai i don't know but hopefully you're having a little bit better summer than we are well if you're in australia you're having a winter hopefully you're having a great winter and uh never been there but i'd like to visit someday let's see I don't know why I wouldn't just take this rook. Wait, I, I am playing with the black pieces, right? Okay. Why wouldn't I just take the rook? Is that too obvious? Because the rook is, is what's protecting this pawn, right? Their last move was this, which, I mean, it, maybe they were supposed to, to try to protect the rook, or maybe they were supposed to move the rook out of the way. Um, I don't know how we got in that situation in the first place. Uh, maybe I came this way. I don't know. But what happens if I take the rook? They're going to go after that pawn, probably. I think that I would take this one. And then they would take that one and they, oh, wow. Or does it have to be about protecting this pawn? This might be one of the puzzles that's not about winning, but about not losing. But I don't know, because as long as I have this pawn, I have a chance of winning. But they have a greater chance of winning than me because they have a rook and three pawns. But if I take the rook and they come toward my pawn... They can't save this one, so I don't have to worry about that one right now. I have to bring my bishop back here to protect my pawn. And then take this one. I think. Because i got to keep the pawn, or otherwise I, the most I can do is draw. Okay, and I, nothing else makes sense, right? This doesn't make sense because they can come after my bishop. Oh! Okay, well, that's one thing I don't like about Puzzle Rush is when you miss one, it just throws it out the window and goes to the next one. So I, I don't know what I got wrong. Okay, well, I've got six to go if I want to hit my record. 
Here, oh, for once I get the white pieces and I have a slight material advantage. Isn't that special? Okay. The king has just moved out of check this way. I don't know what they should have done to get out of check. Maybe that way? But for some reason, moving here was bad. Um, I can follow up check here or here. Probably that one. Usually the closer ones are better, but not always. Not always. And then they could block with the knight. Huh. I mean, I could follow up check here, but then they would just go back. They would, they wouldn't have to go back, but they probably would. Um, but right now my rook is cutting off these squares from the king. And if I check here or here, then that cuts off all of these squares. So the king could just get out of check. But if it went there, then I would follow up check and win the queen. I think for my rook. So uh, let the rook stay there guarding these squares, but then is it better to check here or here? Because I think either way, I don't think the king would go here and let me win the queen with my rook. I think the queen, the queen, they would block with either the queen or the knight, wouldn't they? So let's say I check here. They, they're going to block with the knight. But then I would have this. Okay, so check. They block with the knight. Check here, protected by my rook. Forcing them there. And then I'd have some pretty good follow-ups. But what if they blocked with the queen? Then what would I have? If they blocked with the queen, I would have this check and then win the queen. Because it would be protected by my rook. Okay. That's why this doesn't make sense because then they can block with the knight and I don't have a follow up. Here I have follow ups whether they block with the knight or the queen. So I think that's it. Okay. They blocked with the queen and now this has to be it, right? Because then I win the queen while protected by my rook. Wait. What if I go there and they block with the knight? Oh. Well, then I take the knight. And if they take back, I get the queen for free. Okay. The knight's guarding that square. Oh, my goodness. Um... If I take here and they take here and I take back and they take back, then they're left with two pawns and I only have one. Um, so I take with my rook then, right? And let them have my rook. And then I'm left with the queen versus knight. That has to be it. Okay, wow. I almost took him with my queen. Okay. Not quite, mate, but pretty close is right there. I think maybe their queen probably should have checked me and maybe gone for a perpetual check or something. But instead they moved here. Why didn't they just take my knight? They could have just taken my knight, but they didn't. They just went here. Okay, so I have this battery. This gives me a check. The king is forced there. Uh, and then and then what do I have and then I I mean I would have a follow-up check but then they get out and then and then yeah and then what 
check. They move. Well, then I can get my knight out of danger, but... If I follow up, they come here. My queen's in danger from the rook, and my, my knight's in danger from the queen. But it has to do with this, doesn't it? I don't... That's the only follow-up check I would have in that position... Wait, what if I did that and they moved and then I went here, which isn't check, but invites the king to take it so I can come back or something? No, because then, then their queen has me down here because that's not a check. Here, here, check, here. And I have nothing. Wait. I would have that check. Because the king would be on e7. And if they took it, then my, queen, then my queen would win it. So what if this, 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 this check... They don't have to take it with the rook. If they did take it with the rook, the rook would be undefended and I would win it with my queen. If they did not take it though, what if they didn't take it? What if they just moved out of check again? And then my queen stuck back there in the corner. Oh, but then I would take the rook e either way. Sorry, this one's hard. Check. Gets out. Check on h8. King to e7. Knight to c8. Check. What if they went this way, hitting my knight? Then I And they would also be guarding the rook. But then I would have a knight check out here. Oh, man, that's, that's unbelievably complicated. What else do I have? I don't have anything else, do I? Oh, that was it. Okay. And that was it. Wait, do I have a fork? If I take the rook now and they take, then I have the fork. I bet that's it. Okay. Wow. I thought of that one way too long. Sorry, this, this video is going on too long, but these later puzzles are difficult. I'm past 1600 now, and some of these take a lot of time, especially for me. Now here I do have a couple of checks. I think that just loses a rook. Um, this looks tasty. If I go queen to g6 check, my rook is cutting off all the squares in front of the king, so it would have to move over. I, they could block, but then I would check on the back rank with my either one of my rooks. Um, I'm liking this first. They move... Then, then do I have a ladder mate with these two rooks? I think I do, because the king wouldn't be protecting this rook anymore. Once the king moved over, I could check here. If they took it, I would have this mate back here. When they came back to block, I would take it, and that would be checkmate. So what if check? They have to move. Right, because we already established if they block, I, I bring the other rook down and, and that's me. So the king moves over. I take the knight with check. If they don't take me, um, for example, if the king just moves over further, I take there and that's mate. But if they do take me after this, then I have mate down here and when they move to block, I take it. Nice. Okay. That was $16.99. Oh, another end game. Okay. Well, I only have two pieces, so I can only move the king or the pawn.
what we've learned from my end game studies. I have a couple of videos about our end games where I'm trying to cement the ideas into my head by teaching them to my viewers. One of the main ideas that we learned is we do not want the enemy king in front of our past pawns. We want our king in front of our past pawns. And one way to prevent their king from getting in front of our pawn is to move our king forward to d5 right now because then our king would cut off this square. And our pawn's already cutting off this square, so their king could not get in front of us at that point. So I think here has to be our first move. Obviously, if we move our pawn first, they're going to take it, and we can't get both of their past pawns. Whichever, they'll advance one, and if we head toward it, they're going to advance the other. And if we advance, we can't catch both of them. We ha and uh, we can't win at all without this pawn. And we're not even going to be able to draw without this pawn because because their past pawns are too far separated for our king to get. So we definitely don't want to do that and then try to get their pawns. If we move our king forward, as we've said, that blocks off the two squares in front of our pawn so their king can't go. They're going to have to push one of their past pawns. I don't think it matters which one they push. And then we push ours. If they try to go, we keep our king beside it. I think that that has to be it. I mean, we can't go here. Their king cuts that off. We can't go here. If we go anywhere else, they take our pawn. That leaves only this move. Okay. They did what I thought they would do. They pushed one of their pawns. Now, if I push the pawn, they can come up beside it. But then I could push the king, and they can't get in front of it, and they would have to go that way because our pawn would be cutting off this and this, and they won't be able to, to stop us from promotion. But I do know in a couple of these endgame puzzles in the past, I've pushed the pawn, and it was like, no, you should have done this first. So I have to think about, do I need to push the king first? If none of these other pawns existed, and I was in a game, I would push the king first knowing that they can't get around because my king from there would cut off this square and of course guard the pawn and that square and my pawn would guard that square so they can't get by at all if I push now they can come up beside us then I go forward and from there my pawn hits this and my king would be hitting those squares I think we'd be okay by pushing but what if they went there and then I pushed again, and they got beside it. But then I would get here, and they can't stop the promotion. So it shouldn't matter which one goes first. Is there a problem with this? Wait, if I push the king, do they outrun me? I think if I push the king, they outrun me. I need to push the pawn first. Okay. But now I have to push the king, because if I push the pawn, they take it. And if I move the and I can't move the king here and if I move the king anywhere else they take my pawn so I have to push the king okay now I have to push the pawn pretty sure if I push the pawn they get beside it but then I, I go here I don't think I have to move the king first I think if I move the king first they do this and then I would go there but if I push the pawn first I'm one square from promotion, so they have to bring the king, and then and then I go. It's one or the other. What's the downside of this? They won't. They still won't beat me, though. So it shouldn't matter. But they would promote one move after I did, and neither one of us is going to promote with check. I would have to be very careful very careful at that point because they have an extra pawn and I don't they could sacrifice their queen for mine at any point and um, and still have the other pawn so I think I have to push the pawn okay well now I have to push the king so their king doesn't get in front of it okay wow that was tough all right but again, it came down to the fact that there were only a couple of pieces and only a few choices of moves that made any sense. Um, at the end, it came down to the fact that they had another pawn. And of course, their two pawns were too far split. So I had to protect my pawn and I had to advance it. 
All right. 31. We're only two away from my record. Um, I am playing with the white pieces. My king has advanced all the way to the middle. So has their king. They have two queens. What? Oh my goodness. I'm in trouble. They have two queens. And a rook. <clears throat> um, well... That's not good for me, is it? What can I possibly do? The only good thing that, I, that I'm that i seeing right now is that my king kind of protects all these squares, so their king can't move into them. But their queens can. So I can't... It's not like I can go here and check or something. Or Well, I could go there. Protected by my king. Again, my king cuts off these squares. My pawn cuts off that and that. The other pawn protects this pawn. Oh, that's mate. Mate in one. Oh my goodness, because my queen would cut these squares off and these squares. Oh my goodness. Okay. One away from my record. And I've only missed one so far. I know you can't see it because it's behind my camera view, but can I turn that off for a second? You can see I've only missed one the one so far that's pretty cool okay oh I have a feeling I'm gonna miss this one what do I have I have a check which they can block I also have this check which they can block but if I check with the rook first and they block That doesn't make any sense. Their queen is guarding that square. I was going to say then their rook would be pinned by my rook, and I would I would be able to check here, but their queen is guarding that spot. Um. Okay. Then is it? It must be something else. Maybe it's something else. Uh, oh my goodness. I, t I still feel like one of these checks has to be the first move. Um, I'm down material. I, I'm down an entire rook. I mean, that rook's not doing much right now, but it, it's a whole extra piece that I don't have. And I, what did I get for that a pawn? <clears throat> Looks like I may have gotten a pawn for that rook. Okay. And, and I... They might want to trade off queens here pretty quick if I don't do something. So, what's the difference between those two checks? The rook or the queen? If I check with the rook, the king could escape. Can't go here because of my pawn, but it could escape to the back rank. And then what would I do? I could check again, but then they would just take my only rook then I could check. But what if they blocked with the rook? If they block with the rook... I think I have to take it. Take it. They could take back. And then I would have a check here with my queen. They would have to go back. I could check here with my queen. They would have to go back. <clears throat> then I could check here with my queen. And if they tried to escape, I could go down. But if I check here first and they block, I don't have that same ability because I can't sacrifice my queen for the rook and leave only the rook. I have to check here first. I think. I don't see anything else. Like, it doesn't make sense to, to take this, right? Because they don't, they don't have to take back. They, they could just... Uh, they could just go right here and prepare for mate. Because that pawn is pinned right now. <clears throat> okay, that was it. 
And again, I can't check here because of uh, the queen guarding that square. And of course, their pawn and their knight guard this square. So that doesn't make any sense. I think I have to take... That wasn't it. <laughs> that one away from my record. Okay. And maybe, I, like last time, maybe I'll do a follow-up about the the ones that I missed during this uh, exercise and see see what the answers were. Okay. We're even on material. Um, I can go up a pawn by checking here. But I think in that case, then they want the king come toward my undefended bishop. And then I would have to move the bishop someplace. Um, I can also check here. But again, the king would come toward my undefended bishop. And my bishop is the wrong color. I just noticed to guard the promotion square for this pawn. Um, um, there's so many ways out of that, though. There's going back where the king just came from. There's attacking my undefended bishop, which I would then have to move who knows where. <clears throat> um, at least with the first one, I get a pawn for it. And when they, I assume they would go here. Well, because from there, my rook, my bishop's cutting off these squares. My rook would be cutting off these squares. My pawn is cutting off. My pawns are cutting off these squares, so it would have to go <clears throat> to e5. But then I would have this follow-up check, protected by the pawn. So with the king here, and my rook here, protected by the pawn, the rook cuts off these squares. The bishop cuts off these squares. So the king would have to go one of those two places. But then he then he's basically out of moves. But here, this was the only legal move. So maybe there's a different follow-up there besides moving the rook to f5. I don't know, some something like a, a pawn sacrifice or something. <clears throat> Oh, because my rook would be protecting that, but the bishop could just take it. But if the bishop took it, then I, then I would check here, as we said before, still protected by the g-pawn, and the king would have to go to one of those two spots, and I would win the bishop. Oh, but then they, then they would win my bishop. Dang it. I may not break my record today. I'm going to try it. Oh, that was it. Okay. Well, now the question is whether it's here to protect my bishop or here, which I think they would take. Then I would go here to protect my bishop. They would have to move one of the two one of the two places, and then I could, because my rook would be protecting my bishop at that moment. But then, if I took their bishop, they could take mine. So I would have to move my bishop someplace first before taking theirs. So that definitely leads me to tempting for this because if I try if I try the rook here first, they go to one of those two squares and then do I have anything? Well, then I would have this. 
while the bishop remains protected by my rook, because my rook would be here protected by the pawn guarding all of these up, up to there with my bishop cutting off these squares, then I could play this pawn here and win their bishop. I think that's it. Yeah, because now if I move my rook anywhere up or down, they take my bishop. If I move <clears throat> my rook anywhere horizontally, they take my rook. So I, I don't think it's another rook move here. Uh, I don't have any good bishop moves. But what about this? Oh, the bishop just gets away, though. Or, I don't know, there, there. But I have something here, right? I have something here. What is it? I have something. Have to. Wait, is it taking the bishop to clear a path from my past pawn? Is that it? Oh my goodness, that sacrifice would have never occurred to me, but I, I couldn't think of anything else. What it, if they take, wait, if they don't take, they're down a bishop, I'm still protecting my rook and I can bring the rook back to here, protected by the pawn. So I assume they would take. Then I would advance. And my king is protected, protecting this square so they can't come over here and check me. What would they do? Once I advanced, I mean, they could take my bishop, but they can't stop that. They would have to come here to try to get down, maybe. Maybe that's it. Uh, this has gone on so long, I, I, I don't know what else to do. I'm going to try it. That, what? That was it. Oh, my. And I've tied my record. I would have been interested to see the rest of that puzzle because they didn't take back. It just said you got it right. I guess after I took back, there were there were a couple of possible moves for me, like getting my bishop out of danger or advancing the pawn, maybe, that were equally good, possibly. Maybe that's why I didn't keep going. Okay, now if I get this one right, I have a brand new record. Okay, cool thing. Anywhere I move my bishop, I mean, anywhere I move this knight is a discovered check, so that's cool. Uh, the question, of course, would be where to move it. Um, I, I don't really have a good attack with it. There might be another move first. I don't know, like, I don't know, attacking the knight or something. But no, I think if I, if I, if I take that... Oh, my queen's in danger right now. Wow. Maybe I do need to take the knight first. <laughs> okay. There is a free pawn just happened to notice that that night I mean it's kind of free right and, and again my queen's in danger right so what if I take the knight with my pawn my guess is they're going to take my knight with their bishop which threatens my queen two different ways but then I would take their bishop and they would take my queen and I would take their queen. Because if I go with my original idea of moving the knight for check, I mean, they're just going to take my queen. I, I, all right. So I got to take the knight first. Nothing else makes any sense. I, I don't have any other checks. Wait, oh, I do have another check. Interesting. But they would just take that. Okay, my my initial idea was good. Well, I mean, they're attacking my queen two different ways with the rook and the bishop. So um, I can move the knight here, but then, yeah, then they just take me. So I, I think I have to take there. It doesn't make any sense. And it's a check with the hanging queen. So that basically forced the queen trade and I would take the queen back and I would be up a piece because I got that knight for free. Nothing else makes sense. Okay, 34. That's a new record. You did it. Uh, okay, well, next puzzle I miss will be the end of this run. Who knows when that will happen. Do I have any checks in this position? Not currently. Uh, my pawn is in the way of that check. Uh, there's no checks over here or this way. 
Um, they don't have any hanging pieces currently. Uh, their pieces are all safe. That one is a little iffy right now, but but if I move my rook over, that leaves that pawn hanging. Um, if I move my rook over, it also uh, uncovers a check there. So what, what, what? I kind of want to move this rook over here to aim at that, but that also looks bad because if this pawn ever gets to move, they have a nice battery coming down here. But I, I mean, I also have a nice battery defending that square, so I don't know. But I don't see anything really obvious here other than threatening a piece. That's the only thing that I see. I mean, both the queen and the pawn defend that square, but both my bishop and my bishop defend that square. So if I move up and they took back, I could take back, and I would still be threatening the knight, which would not be able to move here or here because of their own pieces, can't move here because of this pawn, can't move there because of its own piece, but it could move here. threaten a piece with the pawn that can't be the puzzle solution can it there's got to be something else i'm missing something else um i can't move this pawn can't move this pawn can't move this pawn so i mean i can barely move this bishop that doesn't make it oh wait this pawn is hanging i just realized surely it's not defending that pawn is it I could defend that pawn by putting a bishop in the way, and that bishop would be pointed down there. But then, oh, I was going to say, then they could advance their c-pawn, but then I could just take it. But that would leave this pawn hanging again. My c-pawn is currently hanging. I think it's the only thing in my position currently in danger. So yeah, I, I don't see anything other than, than marching that pawn forward, but they, they just get out of the way. I guess I could take that one then. Um, that would be a check, and they would be well advised just to move off of that diagonal rather than, right? Boom, boom, boom. Because if they took back with the king, I would just advance this pawn with a discovered check. If they took back with the rook, I would advance this pawn with a skewer, Maybe that's it. But then won't they just take this pawn and then my bishop's hanging? And my bishop is part of all of this. Maybe I should protect this pawn first. Like so. Or this. Threaten a queen trade? Wait, they're up material. My opponent's up a full piece. God, I don't know. Okay, well, that wasn't it, and uh, I, I had to move something, and uh, maybe I'll make another uh, short video showing what I got wrong. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.